So, you made the big move to drip irrigation. Congrats! That's a good-looking system there. And now, you need to schedule your irrigation. Looks like a big deal, but it really is simple. It's all about balancing water availability in the soil. Just like keeping the balance in your bank account. The soil has a capacity to hold water, and the plants consume that water. Our job is to give the soil back what the plants have consumed. This way, our water bank account never runs dry, and the plants don't suffer stress. Okay, so that's clear. You need to apply the amount of water the crop is consuming in order to stay balanced. But how can you know what is the water consumption of your field? The water consumption of a field is called evapotranspiration, or ET. It is a value based on the amount of water that the plants consume by transpiration along with evaporation from the soil. Altogether, it represents the field's water consumption. ET is calculated based on meteorological data, combining temperature, humidity, wind speed, and radiation. But every plant will transpire a different amount of water, no? Yes, that's right! The measured ET is called ETO. It is based on reference grass surface. But to calculate the actual evaporation for a specific crop, known as ETC, you multiply the ETO by a crop factor, known as KC. Different crops will have different KC values. And for each specific crop, KC will change according to its development stage. What you need for scheduling your irrigation along the season is the different crop factors for the different crop stages. They usually come in a table like this. You can find them on Netafim's website on the Crop section. And where do you get the ETO values? That's easy too. You can get them by having a weather station on your farm or from one of the local weather stations near you. So now, you only need to do the math. Let's say the crop on your farm is at the V6 stage. This means the KC value is 0.8. Yesterday, your field consumed 4.5 millimeters of water. Now, some crops are not irrigated daily, but rather in a two- or three-day interval. In this case, you will sum the ETC of the last two or three days since the last irrigation and apply the accumulated amount. Okay? Time to grow!